Hi, I'm David Neville, uh, Assistant Professor of German and Director of Language Learning Technologies at Elon University. I have just done, uh, finished coding all of the scripts for the Digibon game, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, at the bottom of the screen you see an interactive uh, heads-up display, uh, three, small, uh, three small squares at the top for money, Geld, 20 euro, 75 cents, Gesundheit, 97 points out of 100, points, zero, and Aufgaben assignments, two. Every 30 seconds, uh, one, or every 20 seconds, one point of health is deducted, unless the player gets something to eat, which I will code in a future version of the game, or finds a first aid kit. So, the players will be tasked with entering the museum. Now, this is a game about uh, trying to use German language, learn German language, within a uh, simulated real-world uh, environment. And the focus here will be on two-way prepositions. So if an uh, object goes into another object, the accusative preposition will be used. Uh, otherwise, if it's located in an object, it will be dative. Um, I still have to do the instructionalize the game. Uh, I just wanted to show you how some of the code works. So the uh, player will be tasked with entering the museum. Uh, if the player locates the uh, entrance, the Nachrichten, or the news, the uh, updates from the computer says this is the door to the museum. Uh, click on it. Uh, they have a five minute block saying before you enter the museum you have to clean up all the trash in the square around the town here. Uh, click on there again. That's actually a no entrance sign from Germany. So, um, sort of interactive cursor right here. So, alright, I have to find some of these bottles here. Now these are untextured bottles. I'm going to get to those a little bit later. I just wanted to I put them in the game here just to sort of uh, see how they would, how the player will interact with them. Can I move them around? I can a little bit. It uh, doesn't want to seem to pick up on my collision detection at the moment. Anyway, so this is a green glass bottle. Pick it up. Uh, the telephone right there is also a sign from Germany saying, well, there's a uh, uh, phone booth nearby. And here I'm using it as a way to uh, provide the player with information in the game. See that icon information is being provided. Now the player has to go through and we have a brown, brown glass, we have a green glass, and this one hasn't been coded yet. Simply I'll just take some of the scripts from these two, uh, one of these objects and drop it in here and change some of the variables. So uh, I have a green glass, I, took a, I picked up a green glass, but I try to put it here in the brown glass, I get the no entrance sign saying I can't do it, wrong container, I have to use the green glass container. Okay, so I go over here, success. Now that little icon there is the uh, icon in Germany, the road sign for uh, the right away. so I'm using that as a way to show that, well, you're on the right path. So I picked up five points, and the Aufgaben has been deducted once. I have one remaining assignment, which is I have to pick up this one remaining bottle. So I go over here, pick it up, now I have to recycle it. Uh, there will be some trash here as well, and it will go into that container, which I still have to code. So uh, and I go here, oh, wrong container. Green glass, so I have green glass, okay, I have green glass, okay, there we go. Um, some of that, the sound that you just heard, I mixed in audacity. So now that I have uh, completed the assignments, I've gotten 10 points, and uh, I could open up the door. All right, now there's a few other things that I have in here, sort of tricks or surprises. For instance, if a per player thinks that, well, maybe I get into the museum through the side door, even though the sign says entrance only for uh, workers, click on it and you get a warning sign saying, no, that's not what you're supposed to do, and you get five points deducted. Um, some players may want to jump into the fountain, and if that happens, the police come and the players pay a 20 euro fine. And if they don't get out quick enough or jump in it again, it happens once more. So, 
uh, close the door. Now I've sort of wasted some time talking and my health has gone down to 79 points so I could go here to get the first aid kit and get 10 points and bump it up uh, to 88. So anyway, um, I think even in the back here if the players lose some money I think I may have a uh, 50 euro uh, banknote laying around here somewhere for the players to pick up. Um, and oh, somewhere in an area about 10 bottles that will have to be sorted, uh, 10 items that will have to be sorted according to clear glass, uh, brown glass, green glass, or trash. And once that's done, a uh, player will get into the museum and every time uh, try to code as much in in terms of two-way prepositions, so you pick something up, you take it into your hand, use the accusative case, put it into the container, accusative case, it's now inside the container, use the dative case. So try to model the language using a real-world situation, but not so sort of overbearing that it becomes a uh, drill-and-kill grammar lesson. So anyway, this is uh, some progress on the Digibon project.